Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can get all the ribbons you want on a Pokemon in Emerald using an ace code or two, depending on which codes or which ribbons you want. Now, as you can see on the screen, I have a Ditto here who has all the ribbons that is possible in the game. 32 ribbons. However, uh, it is not necessarily legal to have all these, and it wouldn't be possible. Um, so if we we're going to be using a few um, a few programs today, which is uh, the Pokey Glitzer and the PK Hex. Uh, now you don't have to use them. The only like if you wanted a specific ribbon, uh, only one or two or like a different combination than what I'm going to show you today, then you will need to do this manually in PK Hex and Pokey Glitzer. I'm gonna show you how you can do it, but if you only want max ribbons, and I have a few different variations here, so I have the 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 illegal one, which is all of them, and don't mind all these. These are actually some scripts for another code video I'm gonna show you later. Uh, but then we have the the legal variation. But wait, there's supposed to be a Jirachi here somewhere. Okay, yeah. So this is another ditto that I have which has the legal max amount of ribbons on it. Um, and then I have a Jirachi who has the legal maximum amount, because Jirachi cannot enter the, the battle towers and the battle frontier, so uh, it cannot get those ribbons from there. So this is, uh, at least according to PK Hex, the max amount of legal ribbons on a legendary that can't enter the battle frontier. Now as you can see here, I made a little document, so you're gonna need the PK Hex, I'll leave these links in the description, and the link to the Poke Glitzer. Uh, this is if you want to make your own co uh, your own code for, for the ribbons. As you can see here, I have the hexadecimal code for uh, max ribbons that is not legal, the 32 one. This is the one that, you know, for Pokemon that can enter the battle tower with the max legal, rib legal ribbons. And finally, the max legal ribbons for Pokemon that can't enter the battle towers right here. Now, you're probably wondering what you're gonna do with this. So let's take the max legal ribbons that can enter the battle tower. So you're gonna go to the ace generator. Now if we come in here, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna go down to uh, Pokemon data alteration and go down to change Pokemon ribbons in obedience. Now, as you can see here, the, this code is, it says it requires a certificate exit code bootstrap. Uh, Metrish has a exit code for box 14 that, where you don't need an extra Pokemon for this, which is what we're gonna use for this video. So you don't need to worry about this. In order to get the ribbons on your Pokemon, you're gonna need to know its PID, trainer ID, and secret ID. So there are codes to figure this out. But if you are playing on an emulator, you can just load the save file up in your um, load the save file into your PK hex, <clears throat> and then you can figure out the PID there and trainer ID and secret ID. But if you don't and you're playing on a console, I'm gonna show you how we can do this right now. So the first thing you need to do is to figure out the PID. So you're gonna come to read Pokemon PID. Um, and here it says that you need to put the Pokemon that you want to find out the PID for in the second slot of your team. Um, now once you execute this code, you're gonna hit compute here by the way. This, uh, These are the box codes that you need to type in and when you execute them you can use uh, the dots egg or preferably the stable ace 0x410e uh, modified by Metrish. I have a link for that. It's only seven codes if you haven't made that. Uh, or seven box names that you need to type in to get that. And it gives you the Eon ticket as well as a bonus if you don't have that already. Alright, so once you have typed this in and executed it, you want to save the game, execute this code, and then you can view the second Pokemon in your party. And you should see that the attack stat and defense stat will be way out of bounds. Uh, and you're gonna take first the defense and multiply it by 65,536 and then you add the attack stat. Uh, 
and then you're gonna convert that to uh, hexadecimal because this is decimal so you need to convert it to hexadecimal so what if you don't know how to do that you can just go into your browser and type decimal to hex and you'll find a converter here and then you just paste the decimal number here or type it in and hit convert so um, I don't have a good like I don't remember exactly I think it's nine letters so let's like this let's say let's say this is the um, the number I get and once you hit convert you'll find a eight digit hex set, uh, hex number so you're gonna add a 0x in front of this but you're gonna copy this and you're gonna come back to the like once you have the PID you can come back to the ribbons and obedience uh, you you will however also need the secret ID and I have a video for that uh, there's one code that you can execute to figure it out uh, but once you have that and you have the PID you put the PID like this with the 0x in front and this is now a hexadecimal number. Um, the TID, you, can, you don't need to write it as hex, you can just write it as decimals. So in my case, if we look at, let's see this uh, Jirachi here. Uh, or, yeah, okay, let's just do, view anything at all, it doesn't matter. You can see the trainer ID on right here, the 27292. That's my trainer ID, and then I can put that in here, 27292. And then the secret ID, once you know that. Um, so let's just pretend my secret ID is like that. And once you hit compute, you're gonna get the code for your, um, yeah, to change the ribbons on your Pokemon, but, you have to place this Pokemon in box 10 slot 19 because that's the only way it works. You have to put it there. Uh, so let's do that right now. So, oh yeah, I've already done this actually on this Jirachi here. So I, this is box 10 and I placed it right here. So if you wonder how to find it, this is box 10, uh, sorry, box uh, slot 6, slot 12, 18, then you can just go to the right and one down and this is 19. So you'll see this thing called new ribbons here. This is where you wanna paste the thing I showed you earlier from here. If you want the max legal ribbons, <clears throat> you copy this, you put it in here and that's it. Now, if your Pokemon already has ribbons, it's gonna be a little bit harder because then you need to figure out the hex data for that ribbon that you already have. And that's where we, you're gonna need PK hex to figure this out. At least it's gonna be a lot easier. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Well, uh, you're, you're gonna take your save file and load it up in Pokey Glitzer. So what you do is you just left click on this ditto, you go over to MISC and you'll see the ribbons um, data, like the hex number for the ribbons that's on this Pokemon. And this is what you need to copy and put into your current ribbons, if you have any already. But if it doesn't have any ribbons, you can leave it at zero. So before we execute this code, we need to do something with box 14. So if we come here to the gist of Metrish and we go down to advanced codes, uh, you'll see this right here, making long codes with wallpapers. Um, so the only thing you need to do is to put this code into box 14 and then change wallpaper for box 1 and 2. Uh, box 1 is the machine and box 2 is the desert. Once you have done that, you can simply, you know, you type in the code that you have for, for your Pokemon. Um, remember, you cannot copy this uh, because you need to know your, your own Pokemon's PID or it won't work, right? Um, the same with the trainer ID and SID. So you cannot simply co copy the code that I have here and expect it to work. You have to find your own. So um, yeah, once you have decided how many ribbons you want and all that, you put in that and you simply hit compute and you type that box 14 right here and all the other boxes are from here 
And then once you have the Pokemon you want to change ribbons in box 10 slot 19, you can just execute the code and it should work. Now if it becomes a bad egg then either some of this is wrong or the code might be wrong, but most likely some of this is wrong because if the code is wrong, most of the time it won't, it will crash or just freeze. But sometimes if it's like very close, it may not freeze and crash and it just seems like nothing happened. Uh, in those cases you want to just re uh, reset the game and, and try to figure out what what's wrong. Uh, if you have trouble you can come into my um, Discord and we'll help you out. But um, hopefully you can get this done yourself. I'm now going to show you how you can edit some of these uh, things. So if you want to just... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how to export. I didn't show you that earlier. So I'm now going to show you how you can... Uh, like once you have set the ribbons that you want... So once you go here to ribbons and you have set one that you're happy with, set the ribbons you want, you hit save, and you're gonna have to click on export SAV file. And uh, once you've done that, you can open up the Pokeglitzer app and just hit open and you'll find that file. Right, so it's as simple as that. And once you are in here, you simply click on the Pokemon and view the misc to see the ribbon uh, hex data or hex um, number here and you copy that into this uh, code generator code right here for changing Pokemon ribbons all right and once all that is done you will have the ribbons on the uh, ribbons that you want right so for Jirachi as you can see here these are all the legal ribbons um, that you can get for a legendary that cannot enter the battle tower at least all right so i hope you enjoyed this video and um i'll see you in the next one